Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how you could win a copy of this game. Hey, 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 pro nerds, it's Iggy, back for another exciting episode of Unbox It, here only on Project Nerd. Before we get into things, make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and even turn on those notifications, but when the video's done, feel free to leave us a comment on what you think about the game, as I mentioned the contest, and of course, what else is going on in Project Nerd world. But today, we are excited. I'm excited. Right here. It's Goonies time, baby. Funko Games has sent us over the copy of Goonies Never Say Die. Uh, the game takes you on a per perilous adventure full of dangerous booby traps and treacherous treasure-filled caverns. One player is the Goondocks Master, controlling fearsome foes from the Outlaws families, the Fratellis, to the legendary pirates, One-Eyed Willie. The other players take on the roles of the Goonies. That's right, you've got Mikey, you've got Mouth, you've got Chunk, you've got Data, and of course... Oh, I love you, Chunk! Awesome, awesome, awesome. I am a Goonies fan through and through. This is one of my multiple Goonies shirts. I have multiple editions, including the special edition Blu-ray that also comes with a fun little board game. But that little board game is very tiny in comparison to what Funko has released here now in 2021 with their Never Say Die game. As everything Funko, before I've even opened it up, I am just blown away by the packaging. They make some quality products. This is not a cheap game. Not a cheap game. It's affordable. It's only $34.99 directly through Funko and probably found cheaper on other online retailers. But the quality of the build itself, the case, including all the etched details of the map around it, absolutely beautiful. Plenty of detail about what's going on in the back. So if you were to run across this in stores and not see an unboxing video, for example, uh, to give you a little bit of example of what's going on, a good preview of the game, including, yep, that's right, the maps in here. So without further ado, Let's pop this bad boy open. All right, so Funko Games licensed it through, or I'm sorry, Pro Prospera Hall licensed it through Funko Games. Okay, before I put the lid down, I just noticed too, I mean, just internal, like, I know <laughs> the game is what we're here for, right? But the packaging again, just wonderful, fantastic. It's thick, it's great cardboard, really love this game. Right away though on the top, I'm super excited because um, it looks like, based on how it was set up on the back, it's your divider, and it is. So if you're, this is almost like Dungeons and uh, D Dra Dungeons and Dragons style. Wow, uh, game in terms of you have a dungeon master or a goondocks master is what they're calling it in this game, and this is where you use the map, excuse the map, and on the back of the maps, that goondocks master can keep track of everything that's going on. There's a lot to this game. Just from looking at this, you can tell already much going on here um, so let's take a look at a few of the other pieces before we dive into it besides that piece and we'll take a closer look of course with some b-roll footage here as i pan to it a second time but initially here we're looking at the adventure guide this is not a thin booklet there's a lot going on in this game as i mentioned uh, that's just the adventure guide here's the instructions got that going on of course then the game board which is huge that's only half of it let's Get this guy open and see if I can fit him on here. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I don't know. I I mean, it looks a little bit like the treasure. Not much else going on. So I think it's just a map board. Doesn't look very much like a map. Maybe it is. Maybe you navigate around there again. I This is my initial unboxing, so I haven't seen enough of it. Um, but there is... A million other things, obviously exaggeration, but there's a lot of other things going on in this box. Haven't opened this up, but this is, um, I would say, three layers thick of different game pieces. Cardboard, you've got big pieces to small pieces, um, all indicated by little icons what they serve for. Of course, your tokens and everything like that. Really cool. Uh, this is this is what's cool. So all the other players are assigned a Goonie, right? So you have Mikey. You have mouth, chunk, data, and yeah, sloth, like they said. Um, so what's really cool about it is on each one, there is definitely uh, some information on their health, their wishes. So very each character is going to have a little bit different ability. Um, so for example, Mikey's got four wishes to mouse three. Um, the strength is different based on the die roll. Uh, Captain Chunk, uh, I mean, they all have the same health. 
except for Sloth. He's got more health, so if you want to stay there. Um, but also on the bad guy side, dude, it's not just all Goonies. You have the Fratellis, One-Eyed Willy, and a giant octopus. Um, obviously not in the film, but you've got to add some depth for the game this detailed. Tons of these riddle cards. So what's really cool is part of the game is you end up on a riddle, and uh, it ends up being like, silent be the crow's nest, leave the bones to the rest. Um, based on these riddles, uh, it's going to impact your gameplay, obviously. Uh, yeah, there's a good stack of them, too. So there's a lot here going on. Impressed, impressed. Um, all right, GM cards. I'm going to guess this is the Goondocks Masters deck, um, where you draw cards, too, and start of round... Falling boulders. So the Goondock Master may not be as in full control as you would as a D&D &D Dungeon Master, but you do have somewhat control of the game, and then obviously, like I said, these cards to play through. So what's really cool, though, is I mentioned the different health, the different pieces are all impacted by your different die, uh, your dice and things, and you've got your basic bone dice. You've got green and blue here, which were both on the cards. So green has to do with search. Blue has to do with dexterity and strength. You have tons of little card holder pieces. So we looked at all the little game pieces, the little thing. And when I say cardboard, just a reminder, as we've looked at other Funko games, especially the Funko Pop Universe games, their cardboard isn't flimsy little thin cardboard. This is some thick stuff going on here. And then your game pieces, all of your characters, and heroes and villains, including your giant octopus. That's going to come out of nowhere. What I really like about this is this comes with a bunch of additional baggies to hold all your game pieces as you separate them out. So that's pretty exciting. Initial initial look at this game, blown away. There is a lot of detail, tons of game pieces, and again, the quality of build from games from Funko just continues to never disappoint. This is amazing stuff. These cards are thick. This, I mean, look, look at the, your game card, your player card. It is a solid piece of cardboard. It isn't a thin flimsy card um, and then of course everything else we looked at at this game so let's take a look at the b-roll footage so as I have the game completely set up now you can see that everything's there including your um, as I mentioned your goondocks mas master divider I put the guides behind there the game board down with some of the pieces on it as you can see there are tons of pieces the cool thing about this is you can play this game for just a couple players. So you could have the Goondock Master and just one of the Goonies. Or as you see, there is up to, uh, not limited to, um, but I'm sorry, you can go up to five different characters. So, I mean, you could get a good amount of people over for a game night to play this game. As you see everything laid out with their game pieces, the die, the characters, all that kind of cool stuff. I mean, it doesn't feel like this is limited to just one or two playthroughs. It looks like... With that style, again, being the tabletop game style and the, as I come back to me, using it again, the example Dungeons and Dragons, as obviously there are tons of games that style, but everybody knows D&D &D, uh, or knows of it. It's that game play to where I think the opportunities and options are really endless. So as I take a final look at this game, I am impressed. As a Goonies fan, I'm excited. This is a really cool game. So really thrilled about this and what it's going to do. Uh, I think it does say ages, uh, you know, ages 12 and up. I have a 10 year old daughter, but she's pretty intelligent. She enjoys the movie herself. So we'll give it a go as a family game night first. But of course, as we hopefully start to be able to get back out in this world soon, um, Funko Games, I think, has given us an opportunity to have a nice game night with some friends. Uh, you can make a whole evening of it, it looks like, because it's a pretty big game. Okay, so what you're really here for, I know at the beginning of the video, I mentioned a giveaway. That's right, Funko was kind enough to send us two copies of this bad boy. Super excited for it. So the Goonies game is going to be yours. Maybe yours. It's going to be somebody's. I'm keeping one for sure because I'm not letting this baby go. I'm going to play through this many a times over because, again, Funko's getting an enthusiastic thumb, thumbs up from me. But let's talk giveaway. Giveaway time. All right, this is what I need from you. You're checking us out on YouTube. Maybe you're checking us out on Project Nerd with the YouTube embedded. What I need you to do is go to the Project Nerd YouTube. You have to be subscribed to our channel to win this. On top of the fact, we're going to announce the winner on social media. So it would be very smart for you to be subscribed to also or following, excuse me, our Facebook and or Instagram accounts. That detail is below. 
Of course, what's important here is when we announce the winner, if you don't claim your prize within 48 hours, we're moving on to the next person. So you have to be following our pages. I'd recommend making sure that you see set notifications and everything for our accounts. This is what also is important because you can't just follow our YouTube, obviously, we need you to do some more. So every time you comment on a Project Nerd video, and it needs to be a legitimate comment, you get a point. If the comment is thorough and has to do with the video you're commenting on, you're gonna get a bonus point. That's right, you could get two points. So for example, if you watch my unboxing of maybe the Space Jam Funko game, and you reference something specifically to, to that in the video, that's where your bonus point comes in. But also very crucial, I need you to hashtag Goonies. That's right. So let's go back again to that Space Jam video. Let's say you watch it. You mention maybe my Lakers shirt. Love the Lakers shirt, big LeBron fan, because we're all LeBron fans, right? Hashtag Goonies. That's your comment. Your username's there. When we reach out on social media to say blah, 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 one, you obviously then need to reach out to us to let us know that that's your account. And you're going to have to provide proof because I'm sure a couple people are going to be like, oh, that's me, of course. Anyways, if you want to copy the Goonies game, once more again, follow us on social media. That's not a must, but if you want to claim your prize. The musts start with subscribe to our YouTube. Comment. If you comment relevant to the specific video you're commenting on, because it doesn't have to be this video, it's any video, then you get additional entries. Make sure those comments say hashtag Goonies. If they don't, we are not going to include that as the entry giving you about three weeks from the air of this video. So look at that air date on the video. You get three weeks, then we'll announce our winner. Contest, I'm sorry, giveaway rules and uh, regulations are on our website. If you head on over to projectnerd.com, down to the footer, you can find that privacy and legal link with all those details there. All right, I'm excited about this game. I love it. I hope you're excited. You enter our giveaway. Make sure you check it out. But if you don't want to wait, head on over to our link that we've got in our post to pick up Goonies Never Say Die from Funko Games because this comes highly recommended from the Project Nerd team. That's it for this episode of Unbox It. Don't forget the giveaway. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And make sure you check out everything Project Nerd has to offer over on projectnerd.com. That's project-nerd.com or right here on our Project Nerd YouTube. And you can find us all over the place. Just search Project Nerd. We're everywhere. Till next time, nerds. Mm -hmm.